after days of uncertainty. And just days before the Lunar New Year, trains are back on track at this station in Beijing. Most passengers are heading south of the Chinese capital, where towns and cities are covered in thick snow and slippery ice. What's the use of worrying, whether I get home or not? It's not up to me. I believe the government will be able to handle the problem. At the end of the day, I will be able to get home. With more snow in the forecast, however, clearing the backlog could take time. The blizzards have spared Beijing, but that doesn't mean people here are unaffected. Millions are traveling home for the Lunar New Year holidays, so anyone heading towards central and southwest China, where there's been days of heavy snowfall and freezing rain, could potentially get stranded or delayed. Traffic on major highways across China were at a standstill as cars broke down and authorities raced to remove snow. Runways at Wuhan's airport were forced shut on Tuesday, and hundreds of trains delayed or suspended. But not only did passengers had to wait at stations, many were also stuck on trains that lost power. At least two people died in snow-related accidents. The central government has released $20 million for ice and snow plowing operations and has sent relief goods to hard-hit areas. But it's help from local volunteers that's warmed the hearts of stranded travelers, a reason they say to celebrate even if they don't make it in time to be with family on New Year's Day. Barney Below, Al Jazeera, Beijing. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.